My word! This man! This man right here! Yes! Please! Casemiro, you absolute beautiful! Man, that celebration at the end there! Brrr, that game! Oh, I swear to God, if we, we, if we had lost that game... Oh, that would have been infuriating. A, a, such a stupid mistake from Scott McTominay. I don't care about that. And I want to talk about Casemiro. I'm red in the face. I'm sure he's red in the face after that celebration. He's not just come for a payday. And I tell you what, United, there we came back at the end. There is a difference in this team. There is a fight in this team. And there's not a number nine in this team. I tell you that. Jeez. Woo. Casemiro, though. My word. Coming up clutch there. What a header that was. What a header. Absolutely outrageous from Casemiro. The leap, the positioning, the finishing. Mwah. Wanted it. Got it. And United came away there from Stamford Bridge with a draw, which is the absolute least we deserve from that game. Four points from Spurs at home and, St and Chelsea away. Am I taking that? Yeah, I'm taking that. And that there was a different type of game. It was a kind of a war of attrition with two teams who really lacked penetration going forward. And they got the penalty towards the end. And it was a penalty. It was so stupid from Scott McTominay. It really, really was. But United in that first half. I don't care about United in the first half. Let's talk about Casemiro again. Mm. Casemiro. Ooh. Calm down, Sam. Calm down. Right, I'm calm down. We've only just drawn there again. It's not exactly the be all and end all. But to see United doing that up against it, it's, it's just, it's a different element. It's something, every every game I watch at the moment, I see something else that I go, okay, that's something I, I can add into the repertoire. It's something that I've seen from this United team. If a Casemiro to come up there when United needed him the most, fucking beautiful. It really was beautiful and the absolute least we deserve. But you know what my main takeaway from this game is? It's that. Ten Hag clearly has this team playing proper football. Let me do this up a little bit. I got a bit excited there. There we go. Ten Hag's got this team playing football, but we cannot finish. We are a team which requires two, three, four clear-cut chances before we get a goal. It was a game where we should have been one, if not two nil up before half-time. As soon as Kovacic came on, fair play to Graham Potter, saw that it wasn't working for Chelsea and changed it. It made it a far more difficult game. It was a game that got squeezed into midfield. They didn't have anything going forward. Sterling, you know, he's not scored in like 24 games against us. That's a ridiculous stat, considering he's a decent player. And United didn't have any threat either. Get Ten Hag the striker he needs in January. It is, for me, it's not a case of want. It is a case of need. The, 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 using the, the word has changed. Everything that's gone on with Ronaldo, the way Rashford's playing, the way we're finishing... Martial's injuries, Ten Hag needs a striker in January. Fucking get him one because this team, as a unit, we are building and building and building. Before I get into the full match reaction, I want to say that was genuinely devastating to see that uh, for Rafael Varane. Martinez going over and consoling him and an absolute massive fuck you to the scummy Chelsea fans. I mean, who knew that Chelsea fans were scum? Honestly, they've had John Terry as a captain. I've, no, I've, I've never seen that before. Yeah, you've seen it. It looks like he's going to, but you'd be surprised if he doesn't miss the World Cup, given that reaction. Rafa Varane left the pitch in tears, and Man United had kept five clean sheets in the last in their seven appearances between Martinez and Varane. That is a massive blow, because our back five is starting, and was starting to look really, really dependable, solid. And with Casemiro in front of him, I, I hate to sort of jar the emotions there, but that's what football is, eh? Look at those emotions, the, the contrast in emotions there between Varane going off and Casemiro's brilliant. Late header to get the point for United. But I I hope that it was not as bad as it looked. But it did look bad. And speaking about uh, sort of something that we definitely had in that game. And it's something that we really sort of... Casemiro wanted that header. It's a pure desire thing. Going up there, jumping, leaping, being in the right position. Fucking wanting that equaliser. You don't get that unless you really, really want it. And that's something we saw from Casemiro today. And the man who absolutely set the tone tonight, and he set the tone all season long, is Lissandro Martinez. Jamie Carragher, I'm going to call you out, man. Where's your apology video? Hurry up and do one, because you're looking like a bit of an idiot. Luke Shaw letting Mason Mount know that he doesn't want that smoke. But Martinez again set the tone tonight. Another performance from him where it just looks... He's a, captain of, he's a future captain of Manchester United. I'll be extremely, extremely surprised if he's not. Somebody I absolutely have to give shout-outs to before we have a conversation about our attackers is Diogo Dolo, by the way. 
fantastic from him tonight. Really, and, and going towards the last 10 minutes of the game where we didn't really have much through the middle and all the attackers weren't doing much, he was driving forward himself. He was trying to run into the spaces. He was trying to create. Diogo Delo, whatever you've been eating this season, man, keep eating it. Stay injury free as well, because I fear for how United will look without him in the team. But while he wasn't the only attacker who was ineffective tonight, Jaden Sancho, I think, epitomized all of it. Jaden Sancho has lost something. I, and I, at this point, I don't know what the answer is. Uh, Eric Ten Hag, I think, made the absolute smart call to bring Fred on for Sancho after the 55th minute. We were effectively playing with nine men, nine outfield men, weren't we? He wasn't doing anything. He was massively ineffective. He was turning back every time he was on the ball and he couldn't skip past the player. That's not the Bundesliga Sancho. That's a League Two Sancho, if that. Sancho has lost his spark and all of these United players, all these United attackers have lost their clear. I'm, I'm sure they had their clinical. Look, all of them. I'm going back to Casemiro. Bee! Ten Hag needs a number nine. Marcus Rashford, again, a couple of chances tonight. Marcus Rashford, just nine times out of ten, he'll put his foot through the ball. He'll head down, power, keep your knee over the ball so it doesn't fly over the bar. You, you get him on target, yeah, but you get him on target. And it's their save for the keeper. Put through by Bruno Fernandes in the first half. It was a, it was a poor first touch. And by that point, Kepa was already out and squeezed the space. And he couldn't really score. And then second opportunity when he was down the right-hand side, yeah, I think he could have done more. Uh, somebody who I think was a complete opposite of Sancho was Anthony. I thought Anthony, again, for me tonight, Anthony looks like somebody who can be a difference maker at any particular moment. Now, that chance where he was went through and he took it on his right foot, Anthony, bro, work on that. Modern football, you can't be as one-footed as that. It just doesn't work. You're going to get found out, and that chance there fed on his right foot. He needed it on his right foot. Bruno Fernandes ended up getting shifted to the left-hand side when Fred came on. We ended, the, we ended the game with Fred, Casemiro, and McTominay. And I don't blame Ten Hag for it. I don't blame him for trying to kind of shut the game up there. We had a bench with Ilanga coming on and McTominay. We didn't have a bench that could really affect the game with game-winning players. It, we didn't have the squad depth for that. And I, I reiterate the same point I'm going to keep saying. Get Ten Hag that striker. It's, it's a need. It really is a need. And January is going to be an opportunity. And this has to be United being proactive as a football club. Don't wait for, don't wait another six months to do it. The World Cup. After the World Cup, there'll be opportunities, whether it's Gonzalo Ramos, whether it's Gakpo, whether it's Cody Gakpo, whether it's somebody else, I don't know. There will be a striker who is available in January and Ronaldo might be leaving too, but we need one. Ronaldo, with what he's done, I'm going to speak about that tomorrow with Roy Keane and uh, Rio's comments. I think they're outrageous. Uh, Martial, injuries, injuries, injuries. And Rashford, He's a he's a what a one in four striker I think I would call him. Scores goals, scores great goals, but he's probably about a one in four striker. We need a one in two striker to take this team forward because as a team we're playing and, and as a team we're going until the end. Casemiro there, Stamford Bridge, we needed it and we deserved it. Chelsea were they had they had no threat whatsoever. Really poor. That wasn't really a proper Chelsea United of old, was it? Not like the Mourinho Fergie times. But that goal there, well done, Casemiro. Well done to the United team for fighting for. But McTominay, take a look at yourself, bro. Clumsy, stupid. And it's, it is a fault of his game. He's already been banned for a game because he's got five yellow cards this season. Physicality is a strength if you use it correctly. But if you're dumb and you do stupid shit and you permanently get caught, you're going to get... You're going to get fouls against you. You're going to get penalties against you. I'll tell you who is the king of using that physicality. But smartly, it's that man right there. Learn a thing or two from him, please, Scott. Because he knows how to get the best out of a game. And, oh, oh, man. Honestly, what a, what a goon that must have been in the away. And they must have absolutely loved that. But Man United there, I think a draw is the least we deserve from that game. Chelsea, nah, nothing at all. Four points from Spurs and Chelsea. Yes, I'm taking that. That was my prediction. And I'm fine with that. I think we could have won that game today. We probably should have won that game today. But I reiterate the main point. We need a number nine. And until we get that number nine, games like tonight, games like Newcastle, games like um, Omania home and away, uh, games like all, all of those games would have been different. Have we had a one in two striker? Get Ten Hag that man. Let's take this team up in the next level. Because I tell you what, as a coach, Ten Hag has shown so much. As a manager, with the Ronaldo situation, he's commanded respect. Get him the number nine he needs. 
let's see the next step that we can take forward because without that striker, this is going to be a repeating cycle. It will be.